Hello all, my name is Adonis and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to do a financial reading for all of my Capricorns out there. This is the way this is going to go. I'm going to do a spread to see exactly what your current financial position is. Then I'm going to do a spread to find out what your blockages are. Then finally I'm going to do a spread to find out what kind of opportunities you got coming your way. So without any further ado, let's jump right in. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Jupiter. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Jupiter. Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see for all of my Capricorns out there. Show me the cards I need to see for all of my Capricorns out there. For July 2019. Okay, 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 wow, you got a couple things here, okay, right off the bat here, you got the death card, okay, right off the bat, my copies, you got the death card here, so you, you are ending something and you're beginning something else, so you have some kind of endings and new beginnings here, okay, and so, in this context, it's pretty good, you know, you, you're ending some things, it looks like you're starting something new, something new, something exciting, hopefully, so that's what it looks like here. You got the page of wands energy as well. And this page of wands energy, um, page of wands energy, is a very exploratory energy. So you're looking into something new. You're exploring your options. You're really carefully mauling it over, looking at it, look what the potential uh, drawbacks and benefits of the situation are. So you really looks like you're really doing your homework on this particular situation here, my cap is you're really, really doing your, your homework, really really um, examining all the ins and outs of the situation here. You're really carefully looking over what your options are. Um, so you, like I said, before, before you decide to move on to something else here, uh, you got the King of Pentacles here too. So the King of Pentacles says to me, that is an earth sign, uh, earth sign energy, an earth sign individual. So that is a uh, Taurus, a Capricorn, or a Virgo. And um, you know, uh, you're really, really making wise decision when it comes to your money. Really, really, really wise decision when it comes to your money. You're really um, trying to make some solidly wise decisions that's going to protect you moving forward. So you're you, you're you're you ended something and you're starting something else. You're doing your homework. You're really looking over doing your doing your homework, exploring your other opportunities, and you're really trying to make some really wise, solid hardcore decisions towards your finances and um, we also we got the world card here so that is a completion of a journey so something was completed uh, something uh, something was either completed as far as ending something beginning something else new so you you've come full circle and you decided you wanted to move into a different direction or it also could possibly mean you decided to um, engage in some type of travel in order to uh, to further uh, your your financial uh, your fi your financial uh, reach, you want to really really you know you may have to go to a foreign land, perhaps <clears throat> maybe you know maybe if, maybe even as little traveling maybe requires going to another state, but there may also definitely be some traveling involved here um, to really um, make your things come to fruition here. Now, what I'm also seeing here is I'm seeing this cherry card. And this cherry card is telling me that you have really decided to take a leadership role in this. Um, you really decided to move uh, to move forward and assert yourself and really control the direction of what it is you're trying to pursue. You're not leaving this for other people to do. You decided to do this yourself. And <clears throat> again, um, you're you know you're being you're being very methodical you're being very 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 you know you're 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 really you're being very meticulous in what moves that you make and you decided to assert your own will and really 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 push things forward the way that you want to now with that being said um there is definitely 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 the ability for some huge creativity here so there's less like this like there's like this huge explosion of creativity just right at the very tip of this thing here. So that's something that you really, really, really want to be aware of. Again, that's a fire sign energy. 
Leo, Sagittarius, or Aries. So that's some very explosive, explosive energy that's right on the tip there. That's really ready to just bust forward, and and, and you know, even the person that you even could be working with could be a, a fire sign individual. It could just be you manifesting this energy, or the situation in and of itself is a very a very powerful fire sign energy there. Like I said, a lot of creativity there, a lot of opportunity there. Now, with all of that being said, and I'm going to get some clarification on this, but this is the only thing that uh, is very little concerning. We got the devil card here. Now, um, the devil card, you know, bondage, addiction, depression, there's definitely the possibility that uh, there are some unhealthy relationships um, that can that that are definitely taking place in the pursuit of this goal here. There's definitely a high probability that there's some very unhealthy uh, uh, habits, relationships that are definitely taking place here. Let's get a little clarification on this double card here. Okay, so this double card seems to be pertaining to some type of money pertaining involving some kind of family, some type of family, or either you or your partner, or something pertaining to some kind of some some kind of uh, maybe it can, it, it can even possibly be maybe an investor or something like that. Whatever the case may be, is um, taking some kind of finances pertaining to 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 the family and. And, and you know long-term family things of that nature there is definitely uh, a something not quite right about uh, the potent that that the potential there there's a potential for some um, some missteps there like I said some very addictive behavior um, you know it could e it could even possibly be uh, some kind of substance abuse problem here that could be created um, that, that are you're currently dealing with here just be just be aware of that you know there's there's definitely some, some definitely some issues here pertaining to some type of family either your family your partner's family or maybe investors family or wherever this money is potentially coming from here um you really want to be on point with that uh, also here um again leadership the again but also along with this you know uh it's, it's the empress empress very solid a very solid uh, situation here, very very solid. Um, you know, taking the lead, moving it forward. So that's definitely something. And also, you also got the Empress here too, and the Empress. So that's a, 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 a again abundance. All of this opportunity is is right there at your fingertips. The creativity, the abundance. However, 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 I can't stress this enough. Be careful. Of along with all this success, potential success and creativity that comes forward, be aware that they could, this could be, there could be some pitfalls along the way. There could be some unsavory people that you may be dealing with. Uh, maybe some unsavory people even within your own family, quite possibly, uh, that you may be dealing with. Um, that, you know, um, again, you know, or, 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 or some kind of situation that, you know, where there may be some kind of addiction, you know, you're, you're having a good time, things are popping off pretty good. Next thing you know, one thing leads to another, you're in a bad situation, you know, when it comes to like maybe some kind of substance abuse or something like that. So just be aware, be on the lookout for that particular situation. Okay, let's just see, also let's see what the blockage is here. Some cards I need to see. 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 Some, cards I need to see, some mm, right off the bat, we got two coming out of here blocking. Okay. All right. <clears throat> Those two really wanted to come out. Okay, so right off the bat, what is a potential blockage you're dealing with? The moon, which is deception. 
there's something being hidden that you are unaware of that you can't quite see at the moment be aware of that there's definitely some hidden perils here in this pursuit that are definitely being hidden that you need to really um, be aware of we also we got the full card here usually that means taking a leap of faith in this particular context taking a leap of faith uh, may not be the best course of action um, basically you, you may want to be able to take a leap of more of a strategic leap if you will uh, be aware of all the parties involved all the characters that are in part of this play here be aware of everything all the players that's on the board before you decide to take a leap you know in other words uh, know what you're dealing with before you move forward um, also block it's your king of swords here B the fact that you want to make sure the situation is solid it's on solid ground here a very solid strong wise decision you also want to make sure this is a very solid decision again you're doing your homework you looked into a couple you looked into a lot of things you know you're doing your homework so forth so on just dig a little bit deeper because that devil card absolutely and that moon card definitely is reason to be a little bit concerned use a little bit of caution um, also, you got the uh, you got the King of Cups here. It's King of Cups energy, so it's a water sign individual. Could possibly be <clears throat> a water sign individual. Uh, yeah, keep keep your eyes out for a water sign individual here. Um, you know, uh, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Keep your eyes open for a on a uh, on a water sign individual for sure. Um, <clears throat> you know. That's something that you're definitely going to want to keep your eyes open for. Also, you got the Four of Wands here. And also, what could be a blockage? It could definitely be a blockage to long-term foundational success here. Long-term. That's something that you want to definitely watch out for. Finally, here we got the Star card. Star card here. Renewal. You know, hope. Uh, those sort of things, you know, uh, it could definitely, you know, definitely be a blockage to what you're trying to pursue, just kind of hoping things work out for the best, hoping that this is a solid, stable foundation. There's a lot of hope there. There's a lot of, a lot of optimism there. And it's cool to be optimistic. It's cool to be optimistic, but be optimistic with your eyes wide open is what I have to say about that. Make sure your eyes are wide open when you're moving in towards towards the situation. Um, so let's see, um, let's see what we're dealing with as far as potential opportunities here. Some of rising Venus Jupiter, some rising Venus Jupiter, show me cards under the sea, show me cards under the sea, <coughs> show me cards under the sea. Okay. Show me So, opportunity. Funny enough, the Ten of Pentacles. So the Ten of Pentacles popped up. Now remember I told you that popped up along with the Devil card there. So, um, <clears throat> also, it, like I said, it could be a double-edged sword. It could be problematic, some type of family situation pertaining to money. But it also could be a positive because in a family, when it, when it comes to um, money and finance and, and so forth. Not everybody, not everybody in, 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 in your family or the group of people you're dealing with. Not everybody's bad. Not everybody's bad. Maybe not, not, maybe not all their attentions are bad either. Maybe some of their, uh, it's, it's kind of like a mixed bag. You get the good with the bad. It could be one of those situations too. It could be a group of people, you know, some group of people are cool, some group of people aren't that's in this, in this thing pertaining to family. So that's also that is also something to, to be on the lookout for as well. That's a potential opportunity towards the situation. Also, you got a Queen of Wands energy here. That's a fire sign individual. Again, that, that is a, again, that is a fire sign. That is an Aries. That is a Leo. That's a Sagittarius. So, you know, there's a fire sign individual here, quite possibly, that can also help you bring things to fruition here you know help guide you along the way so be on the, on the lookout for 
a fire sign individual that can really help you create opportunities for yourself or may create an opportunity for you and you can move in that direction to help you move in that direction as well. Also, you have the Hermit card here. The Hermit card says to me uh, that this opportunity will also allow you to do a lot of soul searching, a lot of self-examination to really bring out the best that you can possibly be, to bring out the best version of yourself. So you'll be able to do a lot of soul searching, a lot of thinking here. You know, it really help bring you to that desire, a desirable state where you want to be mentally. In addition, we got the two of pentacles here. And that says to me that you're definitely going to be able to balance and juggle uh, 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 multiple things across the spectrum when it comes to your finances at one time. It's going to be a juggling act that's definitely going to have to take place here. But even though you're going to be juggling a lot of different things pertaining to the business, you're going to still maintain that balance. And that's something that definitely you want to be able to maintain if you're going to be successful. Uh, so let's finally here, let's look and see if the spirits have any additional information they want to bestow upon us. So I'll wrap this up here. <clears throat> and this is interesting. Because along with all this, spirit seems to be Again, it is, it, is, it is basically it is your decision to move forward. But this is very, very unusual. So, in the pursuit of this goal, ending in something in new beginnings, not the right time. That popped out. So, not, not, not the right time to maybe engage in this endeavor. So, you, you, currently you decided you're going to start something and go in a new direction. Spirit's telling you it's not the right time for you to do that right now. Again, free will, you can do it what you want, but it's just saying, hey, listen, you may may not be the right time for that. I'm going to further double down on that. Reconsider. You really may want to reconsider some of your options in this particular situation. That's it. And finally, we have here, we have here, Choose a new direction. And that did that, you know, again, I said, you know, you're moving in a new direction. There's a great opportunity for all of these things. You know, a lot of good things that happen. But that devil card and that moon card all coming out here. These three in a row. This very rarely does that happen. Not the right time. Reconsider. Choose a new direction. Now that is definitely an omen if I've ever seen one. So again, you use your own best judgment. There is such thing as free will. But the spirits are basically telling me to tell you that whatever new uh, uh, venture that you're looking to pursue at the moment, it may not exactly be the best time to do it. Um, so I mean, you know, this again, there's going to be peaks and valleys, but... There may be some better choices and opportunity out there for you. With that being said, <clears throat> um, I hope hopefully this resonates with you. If it doesn't, please feel free to get a personal reading from me. Um, again, please like, share, subscribe. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.